In this video, we're going to prove that the given expression is logically equivalent to R. Let's break down the proof step by step. The entire statement is an equivalence between two expressions. The original expression is on left side of the equivalence. On right side, we simply have R. Looking closer to the left side, the original expression is composed of three sub-expressions connected by R operations. Let's start with our original expression. Not P and not Q and R R Q and R, R P and R, which we will denote as E. So our goal is to show that the expression is equivalent to R. First, we apply the associative property of conjunction. This law states that A and B and C is defined as A and B and C. A and B and C means A is true and both B and C are true. A and B and C means both A and B are true, then we check if C is true. This property allows us to rearrange the order of statements connected by AND without changing the overall truth of the expression. Look at this part of the expression. Here A B not P, B B not Q and C B R. On applying this property, rewrite the expression as not P and not Q and R, R Q and R, R P and R. Only this part is changed in step 1. The rest of the expression remains unchanged. Now we need to factor out R. We can notice that all three terms of expression contains the variable R. This expression is from step 1. Here we use the distributive property of logical conjunction over disjunction. This law states that A and B or C is equivalent to A and B or A and C. A and B or C means A is true and at least one of B or C is true. A and B or A and C means either A and B are both true or A and C are both true. Now look at the expression. Here A, B, R and B, B, not P and not Q and C, B, either Q or P depending on how we group the terms. On applying the property, we rewrite the expression as R and not P and not Q or Q or P. In this step, we apply the absorption law to simplify the disjunction. This law states that A, R, A and B is equivalent to A. Which means if A is true, the whole expression is true, no matter what B is. If A is false, then A and B is also false. So the whole expression is false. Thus the expression just simplifies to A. Now look at the expression. This expression is from step 2. Here let A be Q, A and B be not P and not Q. On applying the property, we rewrite the expression as R and Q R P. In this step, we replace the part not P and not Q or Q with just Q. Next, we use the identity law to simplify the expression further. This law states that A and true is equivalent to A. That is, if A is true, the whole expression is true. If A is false, the whole expression is false. Here, let A be or true be Q or P. On applying the identity law to the expression, substitute Q or P with true. From that, we get R and true. Using the identity law, we simplify this to R. Now we have shown that the original expression is equivalent to R. That's all for this session. Thank you so much.